Hey guys, Yuri here at STEM Canada. Today we're going to start a new project. We're going to start manual waste complete rebuilding. We've done a job like this in the past many times. However, at this point, we're going to document everything and share with you. Let's meet our subject here. What do we have here? We have a Stanko 1M63 heavy duty manual waste. Stankan sold about 5500 units in North America. Machine has 27 inch swing capacity and comes with different center distances anywhere from 40 to 315 inches. Machine utilizing dual V bed design. Machine can be equipped with taper attachment, gap 3 and 4 inch spindle board. Majority of the machines in North America came in inch execution. One of the unique features of this machine is it has a power compound and rapid in all directions. Price for new machine is about 100,000 US dollar plus. After rebuilding, we think the cost of the machine is going to be about half of that. As you can see, machine came to us in pretty rough shape. We have a major wear on the bed waste, we have some components missing, and as we will find after, we have a major problem with the headstock, gears shifting. First, what we're going to do here, we're going to try to check the hardness of the bed waste in different locations. The reason is, bed waste on the machine getting wore out towards this area where I am standing about, and uh, what we're going to do, we're going to compare the hardness on the back side compared to the front side and based on this we're going to decide what we're doing after if the machine is repairable or not repairable. Normal hardness of the machine when it's coming from the factory is anywhere from 45 up to 60 Rockwell. This particular one based on my experience usually has about 50 to 55 Rockwell from the factory. At different points it might be a little bit different but we'll find out right away. Fifty-five on the back side. Fifty-seven. Fifty-seven. Front of the machine usually wore out. Yeah. Front side usually worn, and if we go under the surface hardness, this machine is not repairable. 57. Same. 50 on the front. 50. Fifty-seven. Uh, let's check here too. Because right here we have a gap and mm -hmm. our connection is right here. So gap is here, main bed is here. We're going to compare gap and a bed. Fifty-eight. 
52. Bet is recoverable. So what do we have here? We have a normal result, I would say. Nothing really special, I've seen it before. Front side, a little bit less, but not much. I think majority of the difference is because the front side has a little bit of wear on it, like a wavy, looks wavy, does not look as smooth as this side here. So back side we have about on average 55 rock well. Front side we have probably about five, five rock well less, but again, when we're gonna grind it, we'll figure it out exactly when our surface is gonna be smooth. It should show up as most likely the same uh, hardness all the way around. Based on this, I would say this machine is totally worth a repair. Uh, we're gonna grind the bed now and let's move on to check some other components here. Так. So what does this mean? A disc right there has a wear on it. So it needs to be resurfaced or replaced. I, uh, yeah. Okay, one more problem. Now we're gonna check the rear side of the gear. Six position. Everything shifting. Shafts not twisted, so which is a good sign. Anyhow, most likely we're not gonna use this gearbox for this machine. We're gonna replace it with four-inch spindle. So we didn't find here. Machine has 24 set of gears here. And this handle is your range. Range is stuck on the lowest range here. We have a problem with distant side. This machine is three-inch bore machine. Most likely we're gonna steal the headstock from another machine, refurbish it and put it on this machine, and it's gonna be a little bit different unit now. Come to zero. Zero. Opposite way and back to zero. Okay. Going this way and back to zero. At this point we have about seven tau of backwash, which is not bad at all. Let's go to the most common area where everybody works. Counterclockwise, for example, go to zero, have zero, keep going, and come back. At this point, we have 50 tau backwash. Screw is badly worn in the middle. It needs to be replaced. Adjustment not gonna help. Not going to test entire machine. I know machine is wore out. It has to be redone. So, for example, if we have half nut wore out, we're not going to test the buckle right away. 
we're going to dismantle the entire apron and redo it. So here is the summary. What do we have? We have a machine which is good for rebuilding. We're going to dismantle the machine, we're going to clean all the components, and we're going to go through all the components one by one. This is including tailstock, apron, apron we're going to dismantle, we're going to go through everything, we're going to replace the bearings inside, we're going to put a new lead screw, new half nut here, headstock, most likely, like I mentioned, we're going to put 4-inch spindle bore one, feed box we're going to open, we're going to drain oil, we're going to clean it up, we're going to check and replace brushes, we're going to see what's going on with electromagnetic clutches inside. Main one, what we're going to do here, we're going to scrape the machine. We're going to scrape compound, we're going to scrape cross slide, and main thing is a cage. All screw and nuts are going to be replaced. This includes compound, cross slide, lead screw, and half nut. All major electrical components like wires, contactors, fuse breakers, and most likely regarding those fuse, fuses, we're going to replace them. I think we're going to put uh, breakers on it instead. And uh, yeah, assemble machine back paint it all so guys if you want to keep watching stay tuned you know what to do